Dick Van Dyke is one of the most legendary actors in history. He was born December 13, 1925, in Missouri. Before graduating high school, he enlisted in the military with dreams of becoming a World War II pilot. He was underweight, however, and was denied his wish. But they did accept him as a radio announcer, and later an entertainer to the other soldiers. It was then Dick Van Dyke began to realize his potential in show business. In the 40s, he continued his career as a radio announcer outside the military, and then formed a comedy duo with a pantomime performer named Phil Erickson. After becoming a successful comedy duo, the two went on to tour and even appear in their own TV show. In 1959, Dick Van Dyke took up acting and debuted on Broadway. His acting was a huge success, and he went on to play the lead role in a Broadway show, Bye Bye Birdie. This sparked a long and prolific acting career, full of Emmy Awards, a Tony, and one Grammy. Even though Dick Van Dyke is best known for his work as an actor, particularly in the film Mary Poppins and the beloved Dick Van Dyke Show, he was also incredibly talented as a comedian, singer, dancer, and writer. Even at age 95, Dick Van Dyke shows no signs of stopping work anytime soon, and his career has now spanned over 70 years. In public, Dick Van Dyke seems full of cheer and good humor. Tragically, however, this isn't always the case behind the scenes. Dick Van Dyke's personal life has been filled with tragedies and horrible struggles. In today's video, we're going to take a look at some of the personal difficulties Dick Van Dyke has faced, including two horrifying accidents that nearly resulted in death. Make sure you stick around because we're going to reveal how Dick Van Dyke barely survived a fiery car accident. Dick Van Dyke struggles with alcoholism. Dick used to suffer from debilitating shyness, which ended up having a negative impact on his friendships and even his career. He soon realized that drinking alcohol helped to lessen his shyness and boost his confidence. But what started out as a drink here and there to calm his nerves soon turned into several drinks every night. It wasn't until Dick Van Dyke was deep in the grip of alcoholism that he realized he had a serious problem. For the longest time, he didn't know what to do about this addiction. And it wasn't until he reached middle age that he was finally able to overcome his alcoholism with the support of friends, family, and rehabilitation programs. Dick Van Dyke kept rather quiet about his personal struggle with alcoholism until 2016, when he finally opened up about it. After confessing in an interview just how bad his addiction had gotten, he received an outpouring of support from fans. His near-death experience in a dangerous car crash. On August 19, 2013, Dick was driving down the 101 freeway in LA County. He was 87 years old and driving a Jaguar. In a matter of seconds, however, his car suddenly caught on fire. The actor was no doubt panicking greatly the moment he realized his vehicle was in flames. But he remained as calm as possible as he pulled off the side of the road. Even though his car was almost completely ablaze by then, he managed to escape the vehicle without any injuries. He flagged down help, but by the time the fire had been put out, the car was burnt to a crisp. Ever a comedian, Dick Van Dyke posted a picture of the burned vehicle on Twitter with the caption, Use Jag for sale, real cheap. His struggles with social anxiety and depression. Mental health problems often end up being even more damaging to people of older generations. Back in the day, there was a lot more stigma surrounding mental health, as well as significantly less research. Many people were never able to put a name to their mental health struggles, and never learned coping mechanisms to help them get through the day. At a young age, Dick Van Dyke struggled with social anxiety, and was so shy it ended up having major negative effects on his relationships and even his career. As a result, he began drinking to help loosen himself up, and became more confident while talking to strangers. He became terribly depressed as a result of his alcoholism, and at one dark point in his life even considered suicide. Thankfully, he was able to get the help he needed through reaching out and is doing much better today. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and be sure to subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. The Death of His Lover Dick Van Dyke was involved in a long romance with actress Michelle Triola. The two were never married but lived together for quite some time. Tragically, however, she was diagnosed with lung cancer. Dick Van Dyke did his best to remain optimistic but he knew deep down she likely wouldn't make it. Once Triola asked if he thought she would die, he later recalled that he pretended he didn't know, which he stated was the hardest acting he'd ever done. Sure enough, on October 30, 2009, Michelle Triola died at age 76. 
What made the loss even more difficult was that his ex-wife, Margie Willett, had died just one year earlier. It may be expected to start losing loved ones as you grow older, but unfortunately that doesn't make those deaths any easier. His near death from a surfboard accident. Dick Van Dyke once recalled an unbelievable story while being interviewed by Craig Ferguson. He said one day he'd gone surfing by the ocean. After a while, he laid down on his surfboard and soon fell asleep. When he awoke from his nap, he had drifted far from shore and had no idea where he was. When he looked down into the water, he saw what appeared to be a group of sharks circling him hungrily. After a moment, he realized the inquisitive animals were actually porpoises, and Dick Van Dyke claimed the marine mammals even helped him get back to shore by pushing him. Thankfully, he turned out all right. An affair that ended his marriage. Dick Van Dyke married actress Margie Willett in 1948, and the two lived happily for quite some time. But in 1972, both were treated for their own addictions. Dick was dealing with alcoholism, while Willette was suffering from drug abuse. Dick felt he was gradually drifting apart from his wife, and he soon became involved in an affair with Michelle Triola. But he felt deeply guilty about the affair and came clean to his wife in 1974. Margie took the news badly, and the two ended up living in separate houses before officially divorcing in 1984. Dick continued to stay with Michelle until her death, but he always felt horrible about his decision to cheat on his wife. Dick Van Dyke's personal life has been filled with many horrible accidents, near-death experiences, and struggle. Were you more surprised to learn about the fiery car crash that nearly cost him his life, or his horrible surfing accident? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.